and in his case I would move it about six more millimeters back that's not, oh wow that's not very much it's okay. like a wee bit yep how do I do it I do it by making a small incision in the white skin layer over the muscle because okay. you know the muscles are so close mm -hmm. if that little layer wasn't there we'd all see each other's muscles that's oh, how okay. close they oh, are to the I front see. yep so I make a little incision in that I take the muscle I move it back I tack it down with a stitch the stitch that I used to tack it down last three months okay but he can't feel it oh, okay good uh, but you'll see it as a little purple or black dot okay, oh, okay. um on the surface I use a stitch that's about as fine as a hair and okay. about it's kind of like a dirty blonde color okay. you won't even be able to see it I use two of those one here one here okay in about two days it gets kind of soft and mushy and slimy just like spaghetti does when you boil it okay. and then it falls out by itself by a week oh, okay. I don't use any bandages afterwards and okay. um, this is a picture this is not my patient um, but oh, I see. this is like a day after yeah. These wouldn't be the muscles I'd work on, but just to give you some okay. idea, on the outside. this is, uh, pretty sure I have one of my patients, but I took it, unfortunately, uh, so this is a week out for this little one after that procedure oh, that I we're see. talking about. Yep. I took it with this camera, which is okay. an old iPad, oh, okay. <laughs> so it's terrible resolution. And this, when are you thinking the surgery would happen? Uh, I'm thinking probably let's schedule it for about a month and a half or okay. so from now, Okay. and then... Um, 